I mean, they're ho ho ho. He's like, rawr, 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 and like kills the fuck out of them all. We're going to talk about Prey, which you can't see because the chat's in the way, but there's a little Prey woman, Amber Mid Thunder, right here. Um, <laughs> that Prey woman. I should have picked a better picture that you could actually see, but um, we're going to talk freely about this movie we will talk spoilers there's not a lot of spoilers in this movie it's a fucking yeah, predator it, movie they're running around killing people people run from him and i think we all pretty much know how the end will go down we haven't really talked about this so i don't know all your thoughts what did you think about prey you know what this is a great fucking movie and i think this is maybe a top 10 movie of the year for me to be fairly honest this movie really fucking fantastic what this movie does and what it does really well is it doesn't allow the action to happen quickly it allows it to take its time the reveal it it takes a while like it takes over almost up to a half hour to 40 minutes into a movie it's only like an hour and a half to two hours and i i think this movie does it perfectly i really do this is i mean it's not a movie without flaws it is definitely something that you can tell is very low budget in its filmmaking but what it did with its budget it's it's impressive and amber mint thunder is an actress that is going to have a pretty good career after a movie like this. There are scenes in this movie that are f- like the scene in the ash or whatever is insanely good looking. And the the gore, the violence, though, is crazy and just it is unsettling is fucking awesome. And they produce a movie that, you know, might rival the original movie, to be fairly honest. So, Ooh. Yeah. Well, um, um, yeah, that's how I feel. I enjoyed this movie. I agree with you wholeheartedly that. I love the way that they kind of went back to the roots of the original Predator film by not... <clears throat> they they feature the Predator earlier in the movie. They show him kill some smaller animals, and he even gets in a fight with like a wolf and all that, but he's cloaked. We know it's a Predator movie, but he's still left a bit of a mystique. We don't know what Predator this is. It feels like a paring down a much more confined scary approach to a, a character that's always been kind of horrifying in a lot of respects and i it's think grassroots yeah they just, returning they to the feel, roots. It, i do think that the grassroots approach of this movie is was a great idea that was what they needed to do and you had mentioned to me that some people were talking about how like oh it's boring and it takes too long to get to the stuff and i'm like but that's what the original predator did the original predator took like 30 or plus minutes to get to the predator stuff and this one follows a a very similar tone as the way the movie's made you have you see little snippets of the predator you see things from his perspective as he's hunting you see a couple of things where you see some of the the carnage he leaves in his wake but you don't really see the actual full-on predator and him do his thing until a good 30 minutes into the movie there's other stuff going on but it's it's all build up to seeing this predator and i was into the stuff that was going on i thought it was decent you had mentioned the french fur trappers yeah yeah these guys were the one part of the movie that because i felt like all the stuff with the comanche warriors and all that or the comanche tribe was authentic i guess from what i understand what i've heard it was very accurate I mean, like you said, they have the movie in comanche language as well they shot every scene twice i guess mm. but the fur trappers we're so over the top, just evil villainous. <laughs> I mean, they're just, over, they don't even give them subtitles. They're so no. villain. They're just over there saying things. You could tell by how they're saying it. They're, they're just like, oh, oh, no, and you're like, yeah, they're just bad. They're saying bad things. I don't even know what they're saying. It's just bad. And they were just really over the top and villainous. And it was kind of, that did take me out a little bit. They weren't in the movie very much. They were there. They showed that they were bad guys and just mean all around. There was not much depth to these characters. Now, granted, they're there to die. I know that. But they die, it was, they did. Yes, yes, they did. They died in glorious fashion, which we're going to get to in just a moment. But they, um, I did feel like their characters were kind of a little bit cheesy and just how they were yeah. just flat out just the evil bad guy, bad, bad guys for bad sake. But it, like I said, it only lasted a few minutes, really. It was really just that camp scene where she gets caught. Let's talk about some, the, be, the, the, the best part of the movie, the Predator himself, the way he dispatched of his kill or his uh, prey, if you will. Well, if there was an Oscar for greatest death kills in a movie, <laughs> the Predator would get it or prey would get it. Because, woo, that predator had some moves. He was climbing on trees. He was netting. Very creative. And destroying. Yeah, it was. <laughs> man, only only if he was in, uh, what was that, uh, Revenant. 
If he was in The Revenant, man, it'd be a whole fucking different movie. I'm telling you what. <laughs> Fuck that bear up. And I will no, say no, about right? that bear, because you mentioned The Revenant. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll talk about the CGI and stuff in a minute, too. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that bear whooped his ass. <laughs> I mean, he held his own, too. But that bear came up and just said, what? You gonna punch me, bitch? Like, you think the bear goes down because it, like, falls off out of frame? And he just pops up and he's like, come on, bitch, it's on. <laughs> He beats the fuck out of that predator for a few minutes, but I mean, I Grant, the predator then, comes and back then and the predator and, yeah. fucking banes the shit out of that bear. Beats the was shit out drink- of him and eviscerates him. <laughs> was he drinking the blood, or was he just like pouring blood on himself? Like, what was going I think on it was there? Just, I didn't think he was drinking. I think he was just pouring it on himself because he does that another time in the movie too. He's just like, ah, I'm fucking crazy, predator. <laughs> ah, just, that's what I. <laughs> He's gathered. like, okay, so we've already said that there were quite a few interesting creative kills in the movie. And if, you, if you're coming to this thing looking for just bloody, violent, visceral kills, you're going to get lots of that. There's a lot of CGI blood. A whole lot yeah. of CGI blood. Which is fine. It, I don't find CGI blood to be like that disgustingly gross, though. I guess it's just kind of like subconsciously we know oh, this isn't real. I mean, you know mm-hmm. the practical's not either, but this isn't a real thing. And that does take away from it a little bit. But as far as just the kills themselves... I know my favorite kill, there's a moment, and a lot of it happens with the fur trappers. He comes in and just lays waste to these motherfuckers. I mean, they're, ho, 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 he's like, and like kills the fuck out of them all, very violently. There's one shot, and it's a return of a a weapon from Predator 2, and I think it showed up in Mm -hmm. one of the other movies too, one of the AVP movies, but he shoots this net, and the net tightens and the, the the net itself is like sharp, I guess, or whatever. But yeah. the net tightens up and pretty much cubes a person. Well, he does that mm-hmm. to a guy on a log. I mentioned it in my review, but I was vague about it. Oh my god, that was the <laughs> one part that was like, Ugh. <laughs> it just like pins this guy up against the log and it starts tightening up and just turns him into mush and just like it doesn't explode him. It just turns him into fucking mashed potatoes and. That was yeah. awesome. That was my, I yeah, was like, was. oh my, that was the one that I was like, holy shit. <laughs> That's the shit. What was your favorite kill out of all, out of just the whole movie? But the net him. one, the net, Rabbit. there's no other greater kill than, than <laughs> that. Like, it's cool, like, what he can do with, like, the, the shield and stuff like that, how he decapitates people and stuff like that. And of course, the famous, you know, the laser thing with the, the, the spears and stuff like that. I, I love in the movie when they, they're using the spears. <clears throat> or when he's using it and his mask is off and you, he actually shoots the spear and actually hits where the laser point is which was kind of cool he actually he like shoots it at the the brother or whatever sure and then instead of just continuing with the brother it actually moves back into where the uh target is at which is really cool that so, ties uh, into the end of the movie too and i did yeah, like foreshadowing yeah that the care they actually showed that to mm-hmm. to a, a good to where we could understand and she could understand because yeah we understand because we understand the predator she is just this, she's a native, she's never seen technology like this, but it does a good job yeah. of showing why she understands that this weapon, because it shows in the movie, she doesn't even understand how flintlock pistols work. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I like I didn't it. think the French do either. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, but she, she showed how, or it showed how she understood that wherever these three dots are pointed and they come from this helmet, that's where this, these spears are going to go. They didn't have, like, the nuclear bomb either, did they? Uh, well, not... Not that he used, which this was the first I expected, and we'll we'll tie that into the ending. He does not blow himself up in the end. All the predators mm-hmm. have always blown themselves up. Some people say it's kind of a last fuck you to whoever. I've always taken it as so they can't be discovered. In one way or another, that motherfucker always ends with an explosion. <laughs> but not in this one. I thought the kills overall were really satisfying. Like, we got lots of decapitations and lots of limbs lost. People get fucking arms and legs cut off in this movie left and right. And I did think that they took them very well. I mean, there's lots of people that have you find, and they're just missing limbs, and they're just like, like the one guy who was drinking at the uh, the main fur trapper guy. He was like drinking yeah. at the, the the river when it first showed him. I didn't even realize he was missing one leg. I think his whole fucking leg was yeah. gone. They all take missing limbs very well in this movie because there's another guy. I mean, they're fucked up. They're like help, help, but they're just like. My whole fucking leg's gone. I think if I lost my leg, I would lose my living, ever living shit. But hey, that's me. It was a different time. 300 years ago, motherfuckers was tough back then. Yeah, great kills. If you're looking for that, go for it. Now, uh, the special effects. There is a lot of CGI work in the movie. Like we mentioned, uh, much of the violence is done with the assist of CGI. The Predator itself is mostly practical, and I thought he looked great. 
but a lot of the violence is CGI, but also a lot of the wildlife. They're out, you know, this is 300 years ago, lots of wildlife running around. But yeah. most, with the exception of the dog, I think the dog, her little dog friend, I think he was real. But all the other animals are CGI, and you can tell. I mean, they don't look, t- you know what they are. It's not like PS2 graphics or something like that, but none of them look like the Revenant bear or anything. They look fine, but they do stand out as CGI. And I think that that tying into the violence part of it, why some of the kills in the movie are gnarly, but it kind of takes away from it a little bit because it is so much CGI blood and things like that. It's solid looking CGI blood, solid looking decapitations and stuff like that. But you just kind of, it's almost numbing because you know that, well, that's not real. Like not even in a practical sense. And I think that's kind of what took away and made it not as gross and gnarly to me. I mean, Carl Weathers yeah. getting his arm blown off in the first Predator is probably more gnarly than pretty much everything else that happens in this movie because it's well, all yeah, because you're not expecting that, and that it, like that was like the first movie, so you're not expecting that. But here, you're like, you know, there's gonna be some crazy kills in it. Yeah, I would have liked more practical work, but mm-hmm. is what it is. It's 2022. You know, you're probably not gonna get that. I wish they had done that, but it doesn't ruin the movie by any means the movie is still really fun so let's talk about that ending the brother dies the predator kills him we have to have that moment i think in the beginning of the movie even once a few minutes in you're like he's not gonna make it um she has to have that final thing that pushes her into just you know fighting against this thing the brother gets killed and then she's just had enough and she goes into her schwarzenegger building the booby traps moment oh and she's also got this flower which i don't know how accurate this is that they have that lowers your temperature because she knows about medicine and stuff and she gets this mm-hmm. flower and takes it i guess it doesn't have any other effects on people because it just lowers your body temperature so it it can't see her she fights the predator and um she shoots it in the fucking head because it can't see her and knocks its mask off she takes its mask this is the one thing in the movie that i thought was a, a little bit too convenient but she sets it up in this one spot and she lures it over there gets in a fight with it gets her ass kicked a little bit she's kicking its ass it's been shot in the fucking head and it just happens to stand in the exact spot that when it pulls this gun out its lasers come on and point right at its head and ultimately it tries to shoot her with the spear gun and the spears take off or the spear takes off and it shoots it in the head and that's what kills it and i was just like i mean yeah she got it stuck in this this swamp quicksand stuff that we see earlier in the film. What are the chances that this motherfucker is going to be directly right there where it can shoot it? I mean, I think it would have been a little bit cooler if maybe she had the mask behind her and, like, when he went to shoot, she pulled it out and pointed it at him or something like that. Mm-hmm. That was a little bit convenient. I was fine with it, but that was a little bit convenient that he got right there in that exact spot that those lasers yeah. would be pointing at. Um, but ultimately, and then I've, some people were mentioning, and I thought about it for a second, he sees it coming. This is his tech. It's taken off around the place, and he sees what's going on, and he looks over and sees the lights, the, the lasers pointing at him, and he goes, Ugh, like that, and then, pow, gets shot in the fucking head and dies. Some people are like, why didn't he move? He's been jumping around all over the goddamn place. Why didn't he move? He knows what's about to happen. But then you got to think about like, it. He had been shot in the fucking head. <laughs> like she put a bullet through this motherfucker's head so he probably wasn't in the right mindset i don't know it's convenient it's deus ex machina it's it is what it is i i you, you know it's like anything it's sometimes you've had to find a way to wrap up the story and maybe sometimes the easiest way is just to kind of be a little um a little too convenient in your plotting it felt like the predator at that point was the the horse from never any story <laughs> he just yeah. wouldn't get out of the mud <laughs> I thought of that yeah, too. She's... And when she first fell in it earlier in the movie, uh-huh. I was like, I tray you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. It, it was fine. I didn't have any major. I just kind of, it was just really convenient. It wasn't so convenient that I was like, this just ruined the movie, but it was probably yeah. the most convenient thing in the movie. And maybe I'm the only one who really thinks about it that much, but I do. I, I didn't mind the way that she killed it. I just wish maybe she had had the mask like hidden behind her and he pulls it out. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. she could aim it at him maybe. I, maybe <laughs> I'm probably thinking way too much into this shit. Overall, I, I, I was cool with it. I thought it was a satisfying battle. She was never super overpowered. She was never just like, I am the badass of all badasses. No, she got her ass kicked quite a bit. And uh, I, I liked her character growth. I liked how she took it out. Now, moving on to the very, very end of the movie, she shows up. She's decapitated the predator. She shows up to her tribe and she 
throws his head down and she becomes you know, takes her brother's spot as like head warrior person which i don't know how because yeah. even though she did beat this thing and she put in a lot of work to do it i mean she killed this thing nobody else could i still i'm like okay she did that and that's great but if she if they put her up against one of their other best warriors at this point would she uh, it's you know it's a movie that's how things work that's fine thinking about it realistically is she the best warrior i mean i think she's on her way but whatever so after that she's standing there she says that we need to move our tribe to where we're more fortified and the movie ends and that's probably where a lot of people and i think you said you did you cut it off there is not a end credit scene per se and i mentioned this in my review but i'm going to expand upon it here real quick the gun she gets a flintlock pistol from the french fur tra- traders yeah and it is we see at the end of the movie she throws it to the chief of the 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 tribe it's the gun from Predator 2. In the end of Predator 2, Danny Clever kills a Predator, and the Predators come down, and they're like, hey, you know, honor to you. You killed one of us. We're not going to kill you. Fuck yeah, you're, you're good job. And he throw it takes out a tro to give him a trophy, It because t- they're all about trophies. It takes out a gun, a flintlock pistol, throws it to Danny Clever. He grabs it, and it says on there, 17, uh, 15, I think, and the, the, I can't remember the name on it. And that's how we know, oh, they've been here before. No, this movie takes place in 1718. So you know from the get-go, yeah, that gun's going to be here. <laughs> We're going to get that gun. Uh, and this was the gun. She throws it to her chief. So the Predators don't have the gun as of yet, but there's the gun. There's something that links it to Predator 2 or later Predator movies. Now, when the credits roll, it shows like this kind of cave drawing animated stuff going on in the background like a lot of movies do a lot of it is just like showing events from the movie and just in cave drawing form and this lasts for about the half the credits now at the very the only part of real note is at the very end of this animated sequence towards the middle of the credits it shows the end of the movie and her standing there on like this mountain or whatever cliff with the rest of the tribe and standing there, and up from the sky come, I think it was like two or three Predator ships just coming in mm-hmm. to them, and she's mm-hmm. standing there waiting on them. And that's where it is. That's it. There's nothing else after that. And what that tells us is, because my question was, was okay, they got the gun. There's the gun, but how did the, how did the Predators end up with it? So this end credit sequence, little animated sequence in the background, pretty much lets you know that the Predators come back. She has more interactions with the Predator. That's all it is. It just shows them coming out of the sky in its cave drawing, and, and then it stops. What, what does that say to you as far as, like, where this is going from here? Sequel. <laughs> I, uh, I think there's going to be more more things in prequel this. Prequel sequels. Uh, yeah, prequel sequels. <laughs> um, I mean, we could, we could do, like, 1800s Predator. We could do 19... Well, we had done 1900s Predator. Um, I mean, we could do, you know, a couple... Like, another sequel with her in it, where she's now more equipped. As long as it doesn't turn out like Independence Day Retribution or whatever the fuck that thing was called, it just seems like that they're they're gonna have to b- uh, battle predators again. Maybe take it to a different part of the world. I mean, if anything, it just could be just a cool Easter egg that you know predators came back and maybe wiped out this tribe or something like that. So I don't know. I you know I took it differently. <clears throat> um, okay. And it could be it could be both ways, I guess. Yeah, it could <laughs> just be. It could just be. It could just be sequel bait saying, hey. We could do more movies if this one's successful, and I'm sure yeah. that they will if it's successful and people are saying good things about it. But what I took it as, knowing what I think I know about Predator lore, the Predators are very honor-bound. They're very much about honor and the hunt and all that. And we even saw in, in Predator 2 how they respect the fact that you beat one of our own, so here's you know your souvenir or whatever. I'm wondering if what... To me, what how I took that is that's how they got the gun. I'm wondering if they can't... Because he didn't blow up in the end. But clearly yeah. the Predators don't want to leave any remnants of themselves behind for people to find. They want to like leave mm-hmm. things. That's why they blow up and stuff. So in the end, yes, they could spin this off into a sequel. But the way I took it was they came back. Because, hey, we somebody came out here and they didn't come back. They came back to get his body. And I feel like they're going to come down. They would have come down and been like, hey, give us that head give us our our person we're gonna or the being we're gonna take him with us and hey good on you you beat one of us we're not gonna kill you because we respect they respect the hunt and they respect that you yeah. hunted what was hunting you you won the battle <clears throat> and somehow through that interaction maybe as a you know a, a show of respect or whatever they give them the gun they somehow acquire the gun that way the predators do 
maybe they come back and like, fuck you guys, we're killing you all, and they hunt them and they take the gun as a trophy. I don't. I would like to not see it that way. I feel like the predators would come. It would feel more in line for me is that the that race would come down and and show their respect to them and maybe the Comanche leader who has the gun now showed his respect and said, you know, here's you know, I, I offer this you, to you as well. That's how I took it. I mean, who knows where they'll go with it? But I I saw it as more of that. Once again, depends on how successful this movie is as to if they'll go yeah. forward with it or not. They do whatever the hell they want with it. It's vague enough. But for me, I was wondering, how do they end up with a gun? That's out. They come back and do that. Obviously, they come back and hunt people again at some point in time. But in that respect, I think that they they are an honorable, uh, it's shown so far at least for the most part to be an honorable species. And they respect the fact when something takes one of them out. For me, it was the best Predator movie since the original Predator. I don't think it quite lives or not lives up but quite succeeds the uh the original predator i think that it the original predator is still the granddaddy of them all but it definitely stands up there next to something like predators or predator 2 it stands next to the original predator you know proudly i think it's it's a really it's a great uh uh, sequel or prequel to that film it's not something like the the predator or the avp movies if you're yeah if you don't like those i hope that Disney doesn't suck this dry for everything it's worth because that's kind of what they do. But, you know, (laughs) Disney finna Disney, I guess. If this thing's successful, we're going to get like a Predator animated series, a Disney Plus show, (laughs) you know, toys, which we've gotten in the past, and all kinds of shit like that. So if it's successful, get get ready for some Prey slash Predator stuff to come in the future. I know you said it it's almost it may possibly succeed the first one. What do you think it stands as far as up against the second or the first one? Me personally, I think this is a better movie, but then again, if I watch The Predator, I might think that's a better movie. I don't know. Predator is a pre- damn good movie. It comes across as a dumb action movie, but it's a lot smarter and it's filmmaking. Yeah. The filmmaking itself is just really damn solid. Like there's not a lot of downtime in that movie. And they yeah. don't even show the damn thing for the first 30 plus minutes. So it's a very well made movie. I enjoy both of them. They're both, well, they're all, enjoy- I I like, like I said, all the Predator movies, even the AVP ones, but I totally recognize that Requiem. Yeah. Man, and it was dark as shit. That movie's way too fucking dark. But uh, The Predator is out there. Is, it's something. I think whenever they try and expand on the mythology too much, that's when it gets uh-huh. muddled and kind of, this is not what a Predator movie is. It's cool that they have mythology, but Predator movies aren't that. Predator movies are yeah. people running around from these things trying to survive. That's what we that's want. True. Just give us that. But that's <laughs> Prey. Our spoiler review discussion ending explained, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, check it out. I think it's it's definitely worth worth a, uh, a watch. Yeah.